Welcome back! When last we left the Kestrel Run of FTL, we were still being pursued by those gosh darn rebels, and we'd made it to the second sector, though not very far through the second sector. As you can see, our ship's not really doing that well, and I'm gonna send Ohm to heal before we do much. Sorry for the quick departure last time. Last time we played, I got so caught up in everything that was happening that it just caught me by surprise how little time I had. Ohm's about full here, and this allowed me to fill up the oxygen too, so let's just send everyone back. As you can see, we're still using the basic Kestrel as we attempt to outmaneuver the rebels. Now we should probably get some upgrades soon, but before we do that, I want to go here. An especially well-armed pirate ship approaches you. Hand over one of your crew members, and the rest of you can go free unharmed. Do we draw straws and send a crew member over to the slavers? Or we will never surrender one of our crew to slavers. Option two, of course. I honestly don't think I've ever selected the first option. The first option's just never, never appealed to me. So I'm attacking their shield here because their weaponry really can't hurt me. They can only shoot one at once with each of these things. And that will, at worst, disrupt both of my shields. Which will increase Manon's shield skills here. And will also increase... I'm gonna destroy that. They've lost one crew member. Can they lose another? I'm gonna see if I can take out their oxygen. I don't think it'll do much good. What I should have done, I should have taken him out, but I don't think there was any way to do that. Yeah, I'm in a situation now where I have to pretty much destroy their ship. Why aren't they surrendering? Ah, oh, they were clearly outmatched in every way. The slave ship is destroyed. They won't continue their evil trade, but many lives were probably lost on that ship. Well, that's that's just unfortunate. I'm going to jump up here. I never know if I want to spend my scrap on upgrades quickly or if I want to save up just in case the next store I find has something amazing. Like if yeah, I'll just, I know I'll just kick myself if there's a Vulcan weapon there because the Vulcan weapon is amazing. You come across a pirate in hot pursuit of an unidentified ship. You quickly receive a transmission from the pirate. Stay out of this fight and we will make it worth your while. That... I'm bad at pirate accents, guys. I can accept the bribe, but I'm going to try to be a hero. I'm going to attack the pirate. The pirate ship stops its pursuit and locks weapons onto your ship. Ooh, I'm going to take out their weapons because they've got one of those things. I'm also going to see if I can take out this T-Lek guy. Notice that they have zero health facilities. You've proved a sufficient match for the pirates. They're powering up their FTL and trying to get away. Not on my watch. If you remember from last game, I really hate pirates. Uh-oh. How long can you survive in their scoops, if that is your name? Pam, pam, pam. Oh! I could have had him, too. The pyre explodes, even behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. You go to examine the ship you just saved. Upon closer inspection, you realize the ship under attack was a rebel scout. It's too damaged to put up much of a fight. Destroy the ship and salve it, or use a leverage gained by saving their lives to convince them to delay the pursuing fleet. You know, I've been destroying a lot of enemy ships just for the fun of it this game, but I could use a little more searching time, so I'm going to take option two. Hopefully that will buy you more time to get to the next sector. Fleet delayed by one jump. Awesome. Well, I'm gonna just go there then. I'll backtrack a little since I have a little extra time. 
You arrive at a populated sector. One merchant seems to be mass broadcasting a request for a mercenary ship to aid him. Shall we respond? Sure! Your ship seems reasonably equipped. A freighter carrying a shipment of my goods is a week late. The fools flew through a pirate-filled sector in their haste, and I fear for the cargo's safety. I'm looking for a less incompetent captain to investigate. <laughs> well, if you're looking for a less incompetent, I might work. At least you're confident for what little that's worth. Here is their last known location. They've added a quest marker to my map. I should probably take this power away from my medical bay and put it back in my shields there. Ooh, the quest is all the way over there. Well... I'm not sure what the best route will be for me. Call me crazy, but I'm going to go there. I might not have time to finish the quest, but we'll see. You pick up an automated message from a nearby space station. There appears to be a local shipwright that can perform emergency work on military ships. And let's inquire about their specialty. They offer to upgrade your door system in exchange for some scrap. Thirteen scrap from the do for my door system. That is a bargain. You let their team on board, and after a short time, they finish their work. You know, I'm kind of surprised that I've never seen a, a special offer like that turn out to be a problem. Generally, special offers like that always are just what they seem to be. But I wouldn't be surprised if some modder out there has developed a kind of thing where occasionally they'll trap you. I know I've seen something for fuel, where you try to go to a fueling station, but it seems fishy. The nearby planet shows sign of habitation and great beauty. A rudimentary automated planetary defense system is looping its message into space. Warning. Quarantine Level 5 in effect under FHA Act 22, Article 11.2. Warning. Quarantine Level 5 in effect under FHA Act 22, Article 11.2. Warning. Quarantine in effect. I love the little things like that. I know I've said that before, but those little details just add so much to me when I play the game. So much for me, not so much to me. You come out of the jump to see laser blasts coming from the other side of the beacon. Looks like someone's under attack from pirates! Let's aid the civilian ship. Power up your weapons and engage the pirate ship. They have a teleporter. But I just upgraded my door system. So let's see what damage we can cause here. They got missiles. I don't like that. Let's open that. I'm going to pause for just a second here. I really wish there was a door there, but that would make it... that would make it too easy. Manon, you're going to go in here, and I'm going to do that. Actually, Manon, you go there. And I'm going to... I'm going to leave a little trap for our friend here. This will break through eventually. But when he does, he'll find hard vacuum! Pam, pam, pam! Aww. Hmm. I'm gonna wait. Shoot. And... Oh! Hmm. Didn't work at all. Aha! They were going to go there, but now they're not. And take... Wow, it just takes a lot to take these people out, doesn't it? Hmm. Okay, so now we got a border who successfully come aboard without uh, being killed. So I need to help my friend here to fight this border. This is not going this is not going quite so well as I'd planned. The pirate ship breaks apart. You hasten to contact the civilian ship. It seems the crew did not survive the assault. You take what you can from the remains of the ship. And I did this all while three of my crew were fighting for their lives against a rock monster. Not much longer though. Okay. As soon as this is 
a little more breathable. We'll all go here. These people will all work together. This game really is good at creating imaginative uh, scenarios that can uh, help to suggest different things about the game as you are seeing it. Store! I finally have a store. The space station here is a traveling merchant who shows you his wares. Crew teleporter, that's not bad. Glaive beam. Cloaking and mind control. This actually isn't a bad station. None of this is exactly what I'd call... Um, none of this is exactly stuff that I would consider high priority for most of my games. But it's all useful. It's all, it's all definitely useful. I'm gonna sell a heal bomb. Let's see, y'all. Take a little cloaking. And I... That's more or less what I can afford here. I'll fill up on some fuel in the meantime. Ship. And one more bar of energy so that my... Cloak can actually do something. Cloaking is really good. I'm not sure why cloaking works the way it does, but cloaking actively prevents an enemy ship from charging. Oh, and there was a store there, too. I could have gone there, but... Oh, I just realized how little time I'm gonna have. This is... This is not cool. This is not cool, guys. How much time do I have? I've got a couple minutes. Discover a nearby planet speckled with settlements, although none respond to your hails. I'll go to the quest. Might as well, I'm out of time. Arrive at the last known location of the merchant's delivery. You begin to scan for the lost ship. You find a severely damaged ship floating among some debris. The crew hails you. I can't believe that cheap bastard sent someone after us. I thought we'd freeze to death. If you'd help us complete the delivery, we'll share the reward and join your crew. Promise to deliver the cargo and ask if anyone would be interested in joining? Yeah, I can always use some help. They upload the delivery destination once on board. One takes you up on your offer. The rest you drop off at a nearby station. We've added a quest marker to the next station and got Shelton. Shelton's gonna happen. Shelton, as you all know, is an astrophysicist. Not an astrophysicist, just a th he's a theoretical physicist. I've got like two minutes to finish this sector. You found the exit beacon, but the rebels got here first. You must survive long enough to be able to jump to the next sector. I'm gonna sh cloak, because while cloaking, I'll just... I'll... They won't charge their weapons. I still don't know why that works. I'm gonna pause for just a second. Let's attack their shielding. And I missed the shielding. Let's see if I can attack shielding with that weapon instead. And all of them hit except the one that was not blocked by shield. And the ASB is locked. No, not ASB. Okay, you. You on the doors. You go help there. This is not good. I'm going to cloak again. Because I can. Oh, and I took out one of their crew. ASB is locked again. Okay, I should really focus on their weapons now that their shield is down. Ah, my oxygen is done. That's good. And I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna make it, gonna make it! Next sector, Mantis Controlled or NG Homeworlds. Mantis NG, Mantis NG. Um, there's a lot of good reasons to go to either of these. But since my ship's a little ragged right now, I'm gonna... No, I'm gonna go Mantis. Let's go to the realm of the bug people. You've entered a poorly charted area of space. It's known to be home to the Mantis. Ensure your hull plating is up to scratch. It's... well, it's okay. And that you have enough fuel in the tank to make it through. Well, we just barely made it out of a civilian sector. Let's see if a Mantis sector is any more friendly. Next time on The Kestrel Run!